it's whites versus Native Americans. The government still shut down. What else was going on? Morphine, I guess. Morphine. Oh, yeah. Some morphine stories. Uh, yeah, uh, we're, we're deep in this shutdown. Race war! It's a race war. Okay, uh, this is Dark Racial Humor. Episode 29. Fuck you. Thanks for watching, Mom. We're unemployed. We are so unemployed. What's up, everybody? Everybody, it's dark racial humor, free flowing, in depth conversation about whatever is appropriate at the time. It's January the twenty third, Wednesday. Uh, we're live here from Adobe House Records in good old South Los Angeles, California, and this is episode twenty nine. Twenty nine, almost to the big three zero. Wow, dude! And thank you, everybody, for your support. And then we can stop. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck! I'm so dehydrated. Excuse me. I'm just gonna take a swig of that Crystal Geyser by CG Roxanne. Who knows whose pocket she's in? Probably oh God, that's good. The Green Party. I feel like that's been there for a while. <laughs> empty, empty That's as mine. A, That's my water. Empty as a barren mother. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful Wednesday, beautiful day to be unemployed. Hey. Um, but you know, thanks to wonderful listeners like you, we keep the the money rolling in with the advertisements. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by ZipRecruiter. If you want to. Uh, get a job as a door-to-door salesman for AT and T. <laughs> Zip Recruiter is the app for you. All right, let's jump into it. Uh, a lot of good stuff going on this week with the government. But first, how was your day, dude? Oh, my day was chill, dude. You know, just like just didn't unemployed things. <laughs> yeah, I took a nap. Uh, uh-huh. That was a long ass sh- nap. Shower dude. too. I know, bro. It was much needed. I was like, was it? <laughs> yeah, after doing nothing all day, just uh-huh. not contributing <laughs> to society. Um, or yourself, really? Yeah, really. I mean, uploaded a video. That's cool. I saw that new video up on YouTube. Uh, records dot com slash store. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's habit at this point. Uh, I get brainwashed. Put in like over two years. Of this company still don't have fucking <laughs> healthcare. <laughs> Trash. Two years. Twenty seventeen. Worked on the studio. No, I didn't. That was yesterday. Yeesh. Yeah, uh, that needs to be moved back. You go do it, dude. Like it's funny how just things we, don't happen. <laughs> what do you mean? We played that entire studio while we were gone. Like, but you know, well that that's very cool. But like by now it could have been back. Well, we still have to install another wall. A wall? Yeah, but it can still be set up. We're isolating the booth. The booth. From the lounge. I'm calling it the lounge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there still going to be a printing press? It's all in the... Gutenberg? I don't know. I want that... I don't know. That shit looks ugly. Get that trash out. Uh, the orange? How's your day? No, the orange is like whatever. I, it wasn't what, my first choice. What ugly? It's very... It's, it's like... Very, uh, yeah, it's like... Uh, I want it bright yellow. Mm. Or maybe like a nice green like in here. This is a nice common green. Orange is a little bit... I wanted a yellow like the kitchen. <laughs> I would, I would fuck with this green. <laughs> that was a deep sigh Ew. Um, no, nah, but like the purple, the purple foam is making it a little bit better. Purple foam? Purple and orange. Did you nice. see that? It was like a dark purple foam. No. We got to yeah. buy more foam. Very expensive. Um, we yes. Got, we got some money. Dude. Oh, yeah. We got some money. We're balling. Enough for some foam. $6,000 of electricity bill. <laughs> no, that's 27 dude. That's good, dude. We're there. Um. So my day, yes, I went to your previous employer. Oh shit! And uh, they just sucked my dick, dude. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, did they did they tickle your fancy? <laughs> Not really. Oh, uh, super uh, super great. Barch is being cute over here, giving me his toys. God damn, dude! Hate to hate to burn bridges like that, but you know sometimes. Hey man, be- you have I, I someone I think in college. Back in, back in the day told me that you have one bridge to burn. Yes. You got to burn the right one. I burn a lot. <laughs> like what? Cheddars? Cheddars is bad. Bad? This, cause, no, <laughs> it was bad because I fucking went back there with Jeff, dude, and I forgot <laughs> that I 
I fucking burned that bridge. <laughs> and like everyone was there, the manager, all I it was so awkward, bro. Like, I, I just want die. a burger, dude. Yeah, not yeah. Damn, do they have to serve you? What? They got to serve you. Oh yeah, they leave served me. Leave but a like, nice tip. No, I was like, you got fucking take out. I got the hell out of there. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, your day. That's all I did. Swag, Made dude. Beat. Cool. Let's jump into this news, bro. It's juicy out there. It is pretty juicy, dude. What are we talking about first? What's well, good on the plate? Fucking Trump <sighs> just got elected as president. Of the uh, United States. Re-elected. Dude. Yeah, dude, I, there's three I, re-elections see, now. See, I knew if I just voted, <laughs> the things would turn out the way. Um, There's a... Postpone. Who the fuck is that? It's Kate. Hey, Kate. Hey, Kate. Um, Trump says the Amazon Washington Post. I thought you were about to say, Trump says the N-word. <laughs> to be like, finally, something to be mad about. Oh, dude, I was listening uh, to the news how i get the news yeah <laughs> Google minutes, Home. <laughs> moments before the podcast yeah. is apart, Bro, supposed to start they were talking about um the the kids the the high school white boys doing the the native american thing ah yes dude uh, i'm aware such a good story with npr man what? they were talking about um they said it basically like like the meme of it all stemmed from like one account that was posting like 130 tweets a day that were all like politicized and they had like 40,000 followers oh just like anti just just anything to rile people up oh i love it dude yeah so it was basically talking about how just once once there's a match that they said the american people are the oxygen it was really really interesting usually i skip that news they were the second one talking about that on the view because i'm sure you've heard how uh like it blew up, but then, like, what everyone said happened didn't actually happen. Yeah. Um, so we won't really get into that, but no, Joy Behar was saying, or Whoopi Goldberg was saying, how come, how come we do this nowadays? How come we, like, we just, like, we take things at face value and we just run with it? We don't, like, do research or yeah. anything. And then Joy Behar was just like, because everybody hates Trump, <laughs> just straight up, and they're people are just looking for anything. Yeah, it's a little more like divisive. If they hadn't been wearing MAGA hats, I'm sure this wouldn't have been a thing. Yeah, I, I was listening to a different podcast that was saying the same thing. Basically, they were saying like, like why is that this one lady who apparently is just a lady, but is like deemed as alt right, probably just because she's not like jump to the gunish yeah um but uh Shit, she the was boss like, wants a meeting <laughs> Shut the fuck up barker no you barker. can't talk to our <laughs> boss like that um she was like why is that even news really that a bunch of teenage boys are being r- rowdy probably just because of a hat it's n- not news. <laughs> but it's the thing on everybody's fucking social and so they were saying that once it's on just on the top of Twitter that main publications and news channels just have to have to gut run with it and do their own twist. That boy was on a good day LA or something. One of those, did you see that dude? <laughs> dude, apparently people were like doxing just random white kids that looked at look like him. Bro, I know a kid <laughs> that looks just like him. Dude. <laughs> Literally. But nah, dude, this kid was on Good Day LA or one of those shows. Yeah. And he was just being railed with questions by this adult lady. <laughs> and literally, like, she was like, do you feel like you disrespected him? Do you, do you think you should issue an apology? And he was like, uh, I, I was just standing there. I don't think I was doing anything wrong. Like, I respect him. I think he's a great guy. And then she just straight up oh, said, shit. do you think this is because of the hat? And he was like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Like, like I literally didn't do I didn't break the law I didn't like Like they nothing just fucking I didn't I don't I didn't even really I, I saw that Like The image of it A few weeks Maybe like a week ago And just <laughs> Scrolled by Bro I literally rolled my eyes I was like Here I, here we go again Scrolled by dude. It's a weird fucking I thought it was fake I was like Alright this is like Too good to be true <laughs> You have a Native American guy And you have a bunch of white kids And a make America This is like This is SNL no, dude. The fucking It was Just ripe with With le- leftist anger I was like This is a, this is a TV show It's like <laughs> At this point 
Was it ever like that before, man? Just like super tweety decisive? I don't know. I, I Who I, knows at this point? All a blur now. I, I don't remember uh, pre-Trump. Oh, uh, like, you know, dude, uh, Twitter was definitely a thing back then, but definitely not what it is today. It's it's fucking, it just feeds the goddamn, once there's a, once, the machine, once there's a, a, a hate-fueled, either way, stand-up-fueled fight on Twitter, the main mainstream just goes with it. Twitter should just be illegal. Just silence <laughs> the people, dude. Just put it into it. It can be stopped like that, bro. <laughs> Like, let's just fucking do it. <laughs> we need a, a strong leader who can put us in our place. Yes. I, I like. For one, <laughs> I, for one, hailed Hitler. Like, who? Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, he, he, have you seen that girl? That girl, um, Alexandra Ocasio Cortez. Of a young senator? Yes. Yeah. I, I like ta- her. I talked about her a while ago. Oh, I dude, you've been fucking up on it, dude. Yeah, I didn't know her name, but now I do. Yeah, bro. You like her? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think she's cool. Yeah. I don't think she's very smart. Have you heard about her? A lot her, of people are very smart. you heard about her Green Deal? No, ma'am. Her Green Deal is basically, she's saying we have 12 years before climate change literally fucks us beyond beyond uh being yeah, able repair. to be fixed yeah, yeah I, repair I probably agree um did i haven't crunched the numbers 12 lately. years dude 12 <laughs> years she said we need to take 70 percent of um, a person's income after they make 10 million dollars a year and then put it towards Viable energy sources Seems like a long right? It seems like a super long <laughs> shot Because first of all 12 years is like Tomorrow In yeah. terms of the environment Yeah. Second of all A bunch of climate scientists have come out and says We have no idea where she got this number from <laughs> It's, it's not- true though dude There's the, the shits that like There's been a bunch of Radical weather that, that That's not yeah. gonna get any better. But that's like it's not like oh in twelve years shit's gonna get bad. It's like it's it's like a slippery slope. It's not like a fucking It's cliff. already happened. It's no that's what they said. It's happening right now. Yeah. So like and it's like liter they were saying also it's impossible to get the entire United States on renewable energy in twelve years. It's gonna take at least thirty to fifty. Yeah. But I mean it shit, would just man. cost too much money. I don't give a fuck. And also... I think that shit's fucking more important than goddamn... 70%. Border security, to be honest. Well, I mean, border security is, like, pretty, like, short-term. Yeah. Like, but... And, like, climate change is, like, long-term. I enjoy I enjoy the long con. Yeah. And, like, $5.7 million billion is really not that much money. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude. So, if you could just cut a check real quick, Nancy. Wow, man. No, dude, for real, bro. Like, let's get That's, this shut down like over. I, like it's, I said before, it's it, it's fucking just principle of, of why no one's budging, which I think is kind of like I said on the last episode. Kind of, it is it is, especially with the fucking election, the the first one to budge, kind of like it's just gonna be like, yo, those motherfuckers budged. Vote Bro. our side, bitch. It's literally like ego wars right now. That's, that's what fucking United States politics is, and it's never been more ego inflated until now. It's like, dude, it's like this is this is the worst before the better. It's like they're not even. I mean, they're, they're, there's a little bit of negotiating going on. Trump yeah. said, "Okay, here, listen up, Nancy. <laughs> not only." Not only will the government not be shut down if you give me the wall, I'm going to reinstate DACA for the next three years. <laughs> it was a, it's, uh, the, head, the headline that I saw pretty was pretty good. Yeah, to like, be honest. and she was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you one and a half billion. And maybe if you want, some of that can be used for border security. Like, what? Yeah. Like, I mean, dude. I don't give a shit, dude. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not employed by federal government. Hey, man. A lot of people are, and a lot of people are fucking suffering. Yeah, but you know, I went through that fucking airport all fine, dude. 
But apparently, according to the travel union, they said is the most the an unprecedented uh, event of non security. Yeah, bro. I gotta go to LAX on Friday to pick up my girlfriend. You bet I'll be <laughs> you bet I'll be standing like yeah, seven yeah. blocks away, like, hey, get an Uber over here. Oh god. Dude, did you see that fucking BuzzFeed news? Oh, of course I did, dude. Uh, I'm on BuzzFeed all day. Yeah. At the office, bro. Man. Well, no, what happened? I heard they're laying off 15% of their staff. No, man. They fucking had a bombshell headline that apparent that was that everybody picked up and nobody confirmed. What was it? It was that Was two, it the kids? No, it was two federal officials said that Trump told Cohen to lie under oath. Trump told Cullen to lie Cullen. under oath. Where did they get that? Two anonymous federal sources. Jer- Jerry News. <laughs> but, and and so, they fucking, I was watching it, and all these motherfuckers were just fucking saying, BuzzFeed News says, and said, we haven't confirmed it. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, and then that kind of got swept away, because no one could confirm it, probably because anonymous sources and shit. But um, what a time! That's why you can only trust Dark Ratio Humor <laughs> for all of your news. Brought to you by Google Home. Brought to you by Google okay Home. Google. What's the news? <laughs> Damn! Hey, stop it, Google! Hey, stop! Stop listening! <laughs> oh Jesus, bro! No. This has been like okay, a. Uh, Google. Stop! We're live. This has been like um, what? like I said, a reality show. I mean, at the White House, the man that's the president of the United States is a reality show man. Let's break it down real quick. Da, 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 da. Okay, so here's how it goes down. <laughs> okay, so I don't, I don't know if you heard about this, but so government shutdown. Yeah, Trump's like, give me the wall. Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House. Yeah, says no. No. Okay, so the State of the Union. Yeah. Supposed to take place, right? Postponed. Right. We'll get there. Uh, Nancy Pelosi said, I don't think it's appropriate for you to be doing the State of the Union while the government shut down. I get that. Okay. And Trump is like, okay, I'll just do the State of the Wait, Union. This, this, Not in the White House. I'll do it somewhere else. Yeah, I was going to say, does she have fucking... Because you have to do it on like the Senate floor. And yeah, so, apparently. Lady just got the power to be like, no, nah, you can't you can't use my house. It gets better. All right, so um Nancy Pelosi was scheduled to take a trip to Afghanistan to speak to the troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trump canceled that shit <laughs> and said, Hey, I don't think it's appropriate for you to be flying in a government plane. He leaked he leaked the, the flight plan. He sure did. That was a no no on his part, but still, <laughs> he was like, "Hey, I don't think yo, I don't think you should be in, in a government plane while the government shut down. Uh, um, I don't think that's a good use of money. If you want to fly Southwest, that's your prerogative." <laughs> and so she didn't get to she didn't get to go on her. Did she her, fly commercial? I don't think she went. I don't know. Who knows? She might have. Go but, out, go Google it, fuckers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she uh, didn't go on her trip, to my knowledge. And now Trump is like, "Hey." I'm not going to do the State of the Union address after all, dude. He's literally like just, I feel like he's just like giving her some shit, giving her what he wants at this point, giving her what she wants. But she's still not budging on the wall, bro. Like, come on, dude. Just like, just. my uncle, my uncle Terry hasn't been to work, <laughs> hasn't been paid in two and a half weeks. Really? Nah, I just made that up. But like, you know. Man, President Trump said he would look for alternative venues for his State of the Union address on Tuesday. Staples Center. <laughs> <laughs> During halftime at the Lakers oh, game. Oh, shit, dude. You're coming <laughs> Tuesday at the Staples Center. <laughs> President great. of the United States, State of the Union. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi might show up. Your Lakers Spirit <laughs> Dance team. Right uh, after the State of the Union lovely address. People, lovely people. Brought to Look you by them. Jack in the Box. Look at them dance. Ah, great. Oh, God. Great dancers. How about those Clippers? Oh, God. The Clippers. Speaker Nancy Pelosi again told him she would not invite him to deliver it at the house until the government reopens. I mean... Reopen it, it then. He's the... <laughs> get it get it done, then. President of the United States. I'm assuming he can just pop up shop or... Uh, just hop on Twitch and just get it over. <laughs> like, damn, bro. Hey, he, should like, just, he should just get some stupid startup app. 
make a state of state of the unions, invest in it, and then just get that. Okay, you know what I was re- I was uh, reading about how uh, there was some. I think it might have been BuzzFeed <laughs> News again. Of course, <laughs> they do pretty okay stuff. It just they no one else can confirm it, <laughs> but <laughs> which is you know neither here nor there. Um, Journalism. <laughs> Uh, usually, usually confirmations are good in, in journalism. Um, but they was talking about someone leaked the like pre pre plans of Trump Tower in, in Moscow, and homie just loves Russia, dude. Yeah, Trump has a hard on for Russia, bro. Yeah, I mean, Russia I think he just beautiful became, country. Dude, I think right? he just became president so he could be befriend Putin and then just get a nice big fucking just rule the world together. Just, no, just he just wants his fucking tower, dude. He just wants it. <laughs> he became president of the United States for yeah. a tower in Russia. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, he he went in. He when he went in it, he's like, "Yo, I'm I'm gonna talk to Putin." Say, like, "What do you What do you mean, okay. Donald? You're gonna talk to Putin? I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to Putin." I want to run for the president. Dude. I've been I've been gearing up for a couple of years now, and uh, I'm gonna do it. Well, if that was if that was his plan all along, yeah. I would say that was pretty fucking successful and good for him. Yeah, dude. Right now he's just riding the wave to the end. Jesus. And then he's gonna take his his foreign wife. Is she Russian? No, I don't know. She's gonna, she's gonna he's gonna drop her. Get a nice Russian chick. Like yeah. A Russian Jew. And he's gonna build that fucking tower, and you know what? There's gonna be a goddamn wall around it. Good. And you know who aren't gonna be allowed in? Mexicans. The Jews. Oh. <laughs> and and the Russian Mexican. Oh yeah. God, what would that look like? A Russian Mexican. <laughs> Dude, oh. I was I was watching Doctor Who. Probably be beautiful. There's a, there's a lot of Russian Asians. Russian Asians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y- yummy. Yeah. Sounds like very, a snack to me. Look very Eskimoish, dude. Speaking of snacks, Ritz uh, crackers. There was there was two ladies at the the attendance, not not the the uh, the welcome desk at good at 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 the anchor drop. Oh shit! Okay, really? And yeah, they were attractive. Yes, it wasn't it wasn't the blonde chick. It was someone else. It was two. It was there was two of just two of them sitting there, both young, and one was. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Really? How are we talking? Like solid? Eighteen, nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> what, fourteen? <laughs> yeah, I saw a nice R. Kelly meme that said, uh, this is my kind of weather, it's gonna be in the teens tonight. L O L get it, cause he has sex with children. Okay. At least five people killed in shooting at Florida Bank. Again. Suspect in custody. On today's episode of Again. Who shot you? <laughs> Oh man, it's great. All right, Florida. Florida. SunTrust Bank killed five people. Mm. Let's go. Let's Politically motivated. Let's look for the skin color. Or did they just want money? Let's look for the skin color. And uh, what do you think? It's a white. Of course. All right. His, his name is Zeven Zaver. Wow. But uh, not a terrorist, just a white man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Was he like trying to get money or like. <laughs> I mean, can hey. Can we rob banks hey. anymore? <laughs> I haven't heard a good bank robbery in a while. Damn. Um, began shooting. Authorities identified 21-year-old Serbing, Sebring, Sebring resident. What is that, a city? Yeah, yeah. We suffered a significant loss at the hands of a senseless criminal. A criminal? Doing a senseless crime. Not this white man. That's. Uh, I think that's a pretty good... Pretty good streak of, of white male shootings. Yeah. Who did who did the the country man? All right, whites. Listen, you are on a <laughs> roll. Keep this up, and you're gonna get that pizza party. <laughs> um, heartbroken for my son, says the father. What? Holy shit! Imagine your son just shoots up a bank. Dude, I forgot to ask my mom <laughs> what it felt like when her son <laughs> shot up a bank. No, dude. I was like, did you ever just think that you like you just Really hoped you didn't have a shitty kid. Yeah, I. Uh, what'd she say? I didn't ask her. Oh, uh, but like, would would that be her fault though? No, no, no. Just be like, as a parent, if you're just like, yo, I hope this one isn't just lame. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure that's a rare feeling. You hear about that abortion law in New York? It's all good. You can kill the baby up till 
it comes out of the vajay. Nice. Like just like a just a full like just a ripe baby. Good. Just like I'm 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 all, I'm all for that. And also if like say you're pregnant, right? Yeah. And I punch you in the stomach uh-huh. and the baby dies. Yeah. I wouldn't go to jail for murder. Oh, it's just an abortion. No, uh, no, that, that's not an abortion. That's me <laughs> killing your baby. I uh, I mean Well, that's interesting. Yeah. So if you give someone a miscarriage, yeah, like if you fucking like if you're in a car and you hit a pregnant woman, yeah, you, you go to jail for two murders. But now you just go to jail for one. Well, I mean, if you're if you're pro-abortion, you kind of have to be against the the calling killing a baby murder. I'm pro-abortion, which, I, which but I'm for all the way up to the point where it comes Fuck out. It, that's a baby, dude. That's a fucking kill the baby. That's a whoa. Kill the baby. There's a lot of people, dude. Evil. It's, it's still in my vagina. E- Pop that baby out. Oh my god, that's pop it out dude evil evil is it evil <laughs> you kill to kill a baby it's in the womb it's fully it, yo it can come out as early as seven months kill it why not kill it when it's like i don't know two I mean, weeks it, it, sometimes you procrastinate nah it's cheaper the, <laughs> the further you do it in <laughs> You just, yeah, you fucking, you got raped and you're just like, ah, I'm going to do it. And then like, ah, and then sometimes you just get knocked So you just fucking, so why not just have it and then just put it in a dumpster? (laughs) What's the difference? Because Hospital bills. I'm sure that, I'm sure that, uh, that, what's it called? What's the, the the clinic? I'm sure the clinic's a little less expensive. Oh, I mean, you can have a baby in your bathtub for free. Uh, no one wants that. You got you want a little bit of that, a little bit of that drugs. What dude, you know? You know it's kind of kind of funny, dude. I watch I watch my grandpa die, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty dude. heavy. <laughs> He's fucking he fucking died, right? And uh, the nurse <laughs> got the morphine. Yeah, it was a full bag of morphine. She looks back at me and she's like, "All those good drugs, can't waste." Them. <laughs> and fucking took that bitch off and and. Went to go get him. Oh. Uh, to, to the other nice patients. Did you get some morphine? Not me, no. She didn't offer it. Kind of kind of rude. But. Try, you should have tried some. <laughs> Just pop it out. Did you ask your grandpa how it was, how it tasted? No, unresponsive. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. When he wakes up, you should ask him. Because <laughs> 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 I'm really curious, and I have some friends I want to know, too. Yeah, so, yeah. like... You just text me. Just let me know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it can be any day now. He'll wake up. <laughs> she has some good shit. Oh, shit. Okay, dude. There is. Oh, my God. Bart, that was so fucking cute. <laughs> Bart, oh, my God. You're so cute. Hold on. Bart, interrupting the podcast. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, he just went down. Oh, God. Like a little portal. Um. <laughs> okay. So, dude. The funniest bit. No, he's back there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the funniest bit, right? Um, grandfather buys a plot for his for his grave, right? Yeah, and uh, he's he wants to be associated with the Jews, right? He's 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 got some <laughs> Jew blood in him. Would like something Jewish about him. <laughs> Gets an Orthodox Jewish plot. Yeah, he doesn't know it's a fucking Orthodox Jewish plot, right? He kind of just got some Jew shit and hoped the best. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> he, he dies, and it's fucking me. <laughs> My grandmother's on the phone trying to do funeral stuff, and I'm, so this is a real story. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, okay, and, and I'm talking to. And she's talking about what. These these Jews had have the the requirements to fucking be buried in this Orthodox Jew plot. I'm sure, there are high requirements. You gotta have fucking GPA. Like you gotta, you gotta have credit score. six Jews that are dudes. Okay, it's called like a like a minion, and you gotta have fucking check that off. All right. you gotta, <laughs> got just that. a bunch of fucking Jew shit, dude. Yeah, got my, it. My, my grandma's on the phone, like fresh off the grief, like trying to do shit. Fresh off the grief, and I'm just. I'm talking with my my mother, my sister, just laughing my ass off oh. at the fucking just just a bunch of non-Jewish people. My grandmother's a super fucking Southern Christian, 
my mother and and sister love baby Jesus. Oh my! About just just a couple Jews running, Christians running with their goddamn heads off, trying to do this Jew shit. So how do they feel it about him being in dude. hell? So, <laughs> dude, he he fucking he he did some uh, he covered his bases. I said to <laughs> my sister, he he went, he went he had a nice little. Uh, he he was like, all right, yeah, I, I'm I I confess my sins. Oh, I'm good. Huh. Chill. <laughs> Apparently, he fucking. It was seat for you right here, sir. <laughs> uh, he fucking shot up in his bed and was like, uh, after like being unresponsive and being, uh, he said, all, all men must be saved, including the Muslims. All men must be saved, including, including the, the Muslims. Muslims. Yeah. What a time he must have grown <laughs> up in. <laughs> Uh, and and there was a assistant apparently who was like a respiratory assistant who was a a, a Christian from Israel. Oh, yeah. I'm sure she let him go a little earlier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Great story. You ever watch someone die, dude? Never. It's pretty interesting. Is it? Yeah. Damn. Is powerful yet unremarkable is how I describe it. What does it look like they just go to sleep? No. <laughs> Do you see the ghost like <laughs> No, dude. It's just like ain't shit like nothing fucking changes. You just you just in the, in the one second and then you just and it's a corpse now. And you can you can tell the fuck out of when it's a corpse. <laughs> Why? Because he deflates? No, it's just like it's like oh that's a dead body now. It's weird and the color from the face goes. Damn. Yeah. Did you like interesting. touch him? I didn't touch. No touch. <laughs> <laughs> no kiss on the lips. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Shit. No, no forehead kiss. I, I saved that for the females. Oh, good. Yeah. As it should be. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. A great, a great story. Um, oh, God. I wish I... I, uh, I should have wrote down the, the Jew bit a little better, dude. Yeah. It, Kind of butcher that. It's so funny, dude. You have any other grandpas that could die? That you <laughs> no, I'm all, I'm fresh out. You ran out, bro. <laughs> ran out of them. Oh shit! Just a bunch of fucking. <laughs> we, you got to find more Jews. We got to find five more Jews. We don't know any Jews. We got to find old Jews too, not these new Just Jews. A, these new breeds are that Jew, funny, dude. We got to find five Jewish dudes. We don't know any Jews. Five Jewish old guys to oh play checkers God. in the park. You didn't know any fucking Jews. It's so funny in my head. How do I not know any Jews? Oh, wait. Jordan's a Jew. Right? Jordan, fucking Shabbat Shalom. Dude. Pretty Jewish, dude. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> what 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 time? How are we doing timing? Uh, 32 minutes. Nice, dude. Just uh, this... chugging along. Do we have any viewer mail this week? Yeah. Actually? Obviously. Um, <laughs> I mean, Our no. Gmail is full. I mean, I think it's so full, I just, the password probably changed. Fuck. Gotta change the password and all that stuff. Well, let's see. Dark racial humor. Uh, Any we got, listener mail today. We got a message. It says, uh, from a man named Google, help us protect you. It says, security advice from Google. Okay. It Sounds says, good. Uh, Google says, Users with extra ways to verify their identity are far less likely to be hacked or locked out. Ah. I think we can all agree with that. Um, add additional ways to prove it's really you and see other personali- personalized security recommendations in the security checkup. You know, that brings up, Google, a good point of, of self-identity, you know. Really? Yeah, Google. I, I'm really glad you brought it up, Google. And, like, you put, you hit a button... At, at the bottom of the message that says take action. I just think that's so true. You got to take action. You take know? action. If you see a, a kid wearing a MAGA hat, punch him in the face. Punch him in the face, dude. Because he deserves it. Dude, it's just like, fuck. I think this country is so divided. That's because there's a shitty man as president. It's just like, whoa. Just, there's just a bad human being <sighs> as, as the head of state. Why? Why do you think he's bad? Very ego driven. I don't think that's bad. Boisterous. What does boisterous mean? Let me look that up. Define boisterous. Boisterous means of a person, event, or behavior, noisy, energetic, and cheerful. Rowdy. Okay. 
very uh, see I'm about to say it and it won't sound bad he very he sticks to his guns and doesn't give a shit yeah I mean I don't think that's bad he's just a shitty person how do you not think he's a shitty person bro look Maybe. around you the economy <laughs> is great I'm not ta- but I'm not talking about that I'm talking about Donald Trump is a as a person, weird man. Maybe not even like his character, but he's just a gross man. Maybe that's just what we needed to go against the grain a little bit. I mean, like I said, it's the worst before the better. But like, this like, is probably the most divided a country has been, and I'm sure Putin loves it. Yeah, but let's let's pretend for a second Russia has nothing to do with this for a second. It doesn't. And it's just like no, I'm not saying focusing on Trump as a person. Sure, I don't know. He's just like, fucking gross, dude. Like, do you not think he's a gross man? Like, I, yeah, I, I think he's outspoken. No, do you but not think I, he's a I, gross man? Like a gross man, just like fucking. Like, I don't think he's very like attractive. No, not like that. But like a gross person. Yeah. Like, dude, I don't think he's fucking racist. I don't think he's. I think he's a little New York racist. Well, he's a little New York racist. But he's not as racist as people make him <laughs> out to be. That's the thing, dude. That's the thing. He's not the worst person it's on the people. Earth. It's people like like people on Twitter that we talk about every week. Yeah. They make me like Trump more because I'm just like, okay, what's the truth here? And then I like fucking go through all the media bullshit. I'm just like, all right, what was really said? Sure. And what are people picking and choosing? And the more stuff like this happens, like this this fucking kid story that we just talked about, yeah. the more I'm just like, okay, this is just media sens- – what's the word? Sensalization? Sens- Sensationalizing. Sensational – yeah, that one. Um, like I'm seeing more of that every fucking week, and I'm just like, okay. It's, it's becoming less about him and more about the media hype. Yeah, but that's always – that's – his shtick though that's how he got president yeah but like even i know but like even it's kind of it's kind of away from him at this point but even he says even he said you know i'm getting tired of it he told his um what's the lady the lady that does the press events yeah he said how don't she i haven't heard anything about her bro exactly how could be doing how could she said dude he told her <laughs> don't bother doing press events anymore because they're just gonna twist your words and just say things that you didn't say so she hasn't done them in a month yeah i mean I'm just like, dude, like, exactly, bro. But this shit has been the craziest fucking presidency. Yeah, dude, it's just like... Since fucking, like, Nixon, dude. I don't even know Nixon. Like, I don't know. I've been reading a nice Hunter S. Thompson book. But this shit's crazy. Unless we have a president that just is just like, dude, let's just listen to each other. Yeah. Because right now, no one's listening to each other. Yeah. Everyone's just like, well, that's right. You think. like Trump, so you're fucking racist. I'm not gonna listen to you, and vice versa. And that's what I think is gonna happen after the fucking next president comes in. I wonder who it's gonna Speaking, be. Speaking, you know who Kamal Harris is? I've heard of her. She's running for pres pres. She's that. She's that one lady um, that was on a lot of the the. It's not a board. What is it called? Like what happened with that? The judge. They had. The panel. They had a panel of people. Yeah. She's that one um, light-skinned lady. I got to do some research on her. The older lady. Before I make a judgment. Sure. <laughs> no, dude. Uh, like, she's running for president, bro. I want to fucking know who's fucking... She's a Democrat, right? Um, yes. All right. So, let's uh, let's see. What are her policies? I want to know what she, where she stands on taxes. All right. And health care. Um. Just gonna vote not Trump. Really? Yeah. Really, dude. Even though yeah. the unemployment rate goes down month after month after month after month. I'm sure it's all him, dude. I mean, it, if it's not him, it's sure happening at a damn good time. Causation, dude. Not casual. That's not the phrase, but I'm not gonna. I I, I give no president basically any credit for anything done besides a handful of things i really don't think they got that much fucking ball power i mean they kind of do but you know it's i don't give them any credit hey all i gotta say is you cut regulations let's see 
Her husband. Economies thrive. Her husband looks like a chump. Does he? No, he's okay. He's born in New York. Does he eat her ass? Probably. You know, if she becomes president, the sex is over. (laughs) Why would you ever marry someone that wants to run for president? (laughs) Like, come on. That's like, come on, dude. The hours they will be putting in. She was the district attorney of San Francisco. She's Asian American. Gross. Kamala Harris? I thought she was black. In addition to being the second African American, we got an Asian black man. Oh, she's going to (laughs) win. She's going to win. Preceded by Jerry Brown. But you know what? She's not because no one our age votes. I'm a a vote, but she's from Oaktown, baby. We're in. <laughs> we're at forty minutes. We'll talk more about Kamala Harris <laughs> next week. Bro, she went to Howard University. Ooh, oh, she's going win. Isn't that dude. the black? Oh yeah, so black. Ah, oh, dude, dude, the the blacks better show out, B. Enough of that Trump boy. I should have went to Howard. Yeah. Nah. She uh, she's born in Oakland, B. That like that's all I thought. I you know, Obama was born in Oakland. Sure. Just kidding. He was born in Kenya. Hey, no. Trump, 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 Trump. No, wait. Where was he born? Is he born in like Hawaii? Oh yeah. So I was about to say Alabama. The main media news. All right. Yeah. So a forty tamal, more minutes, dude. Just, mill just Indian. eating up the tape. Well, I mean, we got like two minutes. Fo- oh, dude, she graduated studying economics at Berkeley. Best fucking Berkeley. That's where I stay. If she studied. Economics, bro, dude. her all name right, is then. Sanskrit for the lotus flower, bro. bro we all right. voting all for her, man. Kamala, you're voting on her just because of where <laughs> she's of name, from, baby. dude. Lotus that flower. That is the biggest case of identity politics I've hey, ever seen. Here we go, man. Kamala 2020, man. Dude, I voted for I Obama because he's black. Berkeley, baby. I want to see, if she's an economist, I want to see where she stands with taxes. Fuck that, dude. Shit. Don't give a shit. What do you mean? Fuck it. You're an adult, bro. This affects Prove you. It, dude. You're fucking... I don't even know <laughs> how old you are. 22. Damn. Political positions. Abortion. Did you see that Cardi B was uh, going at it? Naked? About the shutdown? Yeah. Did you see her take off her jeans because her coochie had to breathe, though? No. She also posted about that, so... Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Her pussy be breathing. She said she was like, "I pay forty per. I pay four million dollars in taxes to not be silenced or some shit to make. So, I don't know." She fucks with abortion, Kamala. Up until birth, I don't know. Uh, decriminalize weed. Okay. Opposed death penalty, which is. Mm. Kamala Harris taxes. Three trillion dollar tax plan. Tax credits for renters. Environment. What's the go with your environment, man? Prosecuted civil industry. Two point eight trillion middle class tax plan. Okay, yo, we can't be doing research on the air. <laughs> we're, just, right. we're just reading. The fucking episode's <laughs> over. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, catch you next week. <laughs> you Bye. Sure you want to follow us on Twitter? <laughs> Bye. Uh,